checking the stats every minute this week. I'm doing my part, I'm paying attention, and I play my position. Crypto Lightsaber back with another video, guys. We're going to talk once again about the price of Zen, which is reversing to the upside. It's not something that we didn't expect, especially being so bullish on Zen. I've been able to take advantage of buying this dip. So, uh, you know, I believe this, this is going up further in the short term to the immediate term for the simple fact that more Zen is going to be burned. Okay, you've got projects like DB Zen, DXN token, people are burning Zen taking Zen out of circulation, um, bringing the, uh, the the circulating supply down. All right, guys. And there is another project which is soon about to launch to support the burning of Zen called Phoenix. This is similar to a certificate of deposit type platform like Hex, for example. And this is a yield platform. So you're going to be able to earn, uh, you're going to be able to earn uh, yield on this token. It's part of the Zen ecosystem. Okay, guys. And um, in order to get into this token, you need to burn Zen. So it says here, Mint Zen. I would also say, buy Zen, forward slash buy Zen. Okay, because I've said this in the previous video. Minting Zen can no longer be your only strategy if you want to participate in these projects. If you've minted Zen and you're waiting 100 days, 200 days, 400 days a year for your Zen tokens to come into your wallet, into your possession, to be made available to use, you're not going to be able to participate unless you buy Zen, okay, guys? Or unless you do short-term mints. Short-term mints are not very profitable right now. You're better off just buying Zen. So in order to participate in something like this, to burn Zen, to get Phoenix tokens, you're going to need to buy Zen. And so I believe that many people are going to be participating, just like they did in DB Zen. They're going to participate to be able to burn Zen for this, if they're not holding Zen already, that is. If they're holding Zen already, the chart still benefits from that because of tokens being removed from circulation. There's tokens that will get burnt that nobody's going to be able to dump on the market. All right, guys. Once you stake your Phoenix, you earn a trustless yield. You earn Phoenix tokens. Okay, so, you know, depending on the success of this project, I think it will be quite successful for the simple fact that it isn't another early project uh, being, you know, spun into the Zen ecosystem where there's a lot of hype right now. Um, I saw, I think there's going to be a Zen Doge. Uh, there's there's Exelon, the X Zenlon token. There's DB Zen as well. Okay, guys, on all chains, by the way, all chains. And uh, for me, I'm an Ethereum Zen. You know, I'm bullish on Ethereum Zen. Okay, you know, I'm, I'm going to get even further into the other uh chains right I've, I've i've minted zen on most chains uh, but i'm gonna get deeper on some of the other chains potentially right the ones that i'm personally bullish on in my opinion right but um yeah i think the price is gonna go up and um yeah i mean let's see what jack levin what's going on with jack levin right so jack levin is talking about the x1 blockchain so zen knights winning participants if you're bidding on zen knights and you win one of those zen knights and you buy those Zen Knights, you will get airdrops on the X1 blockchain. So you will get airdrops of the XN token. XN. So on X1, which is the blockchain for Zen, that will be the mainnet for Zen, where I've heard talk about, you know, being able to merge your Zen from all of the different blockchains over into the X1 chain. Um, you're going to get an airdrop for that token as well. Okay, guys. So I'm sure that that token is going to support also, the Zen, original Zen token, um, I, I think it would be good if Zen was used for gas fees on X1. I'm not sure if the XN token will be used for gas fees, but um, yeah, if Zen was used for gas fees and those gas fees were burned, that would be super bullish. And, you know, I'll leave it to the expert, Jack Levin, who is super bullish, okay, super bullish dev, base dev, number 29 at Google, 28, whatever, um, people like to correct me in the comments. I don't think it matters, really. He worked at Google early. <laughs> You'll notice that I'm making a bunch of videos on this project for the simple fact that I'm I'm more bullish on this project than any other project right now. Um, Wales are scooping 100k at a time of staking DXN for 400% APY. That's another thing. I almost bought some DXN yesterday um, because the staking APY sounds so attractive. 400% APY, that's getting paid out in Ethereum. <laughs> I'm not sure how long it's gonna, it's gonna, they're going to be able to sustain that APY and paying out Ethereum. But, um, you know, I guess being early pays, right? 
Um, so DBZen, DXN, I haven't done a video solely on DBZen. Um, I am holding a very li a tiny bit of DBZen on another blockchain. Okay, Ethereum is the one that I would prefer to be on. But I, I just can't bring myself personally to burn Zen right now. I'm holding Zen. I'm trying to accumulate Zen, not burn it for some of these other protocols. Although, you know, people have made so much money, uh, you know, uh, doing that. For example, on DB Zen, I just don't think I was early enough to get into DB Zen to really capitalize and really make a fast, a quick ROI. Um, you know, I don't understand it enough to do it. So I'm accumulating Zen, X E N. Okay, guys. So yeah, I just wanted to make this, uh, we can see this right here, uh, Zen Doge. So um, that's probably going to bring a lot of capital into the ecosystem as well, especially for the meme coin lovers okay guys so i just wanted to make this quick video about zen once again there's going to be more burning of zen guys with phoenix so uh yeah i'm going to be keeping an eye on this and um yeah i mean i would really like to participate in this but it just means that i've got to burn zen uh, i'm not sure where well, i'm still trying to make up my mind whether i do that or not All right guys so Let's see how it goes. I'll leave the links in the description. Do me a favor, subscribe to the channel. If you're not subscribed already, tick the little bell for notifications. And also, comment down below. Let me know what you think about Phoenix, what you know, what you think about Zen. And um, that's about it for this video. I'll see you guys in the very next one. Thank you.